all-time NBA point guard 1v1 tournament. Round one, Magic versus Pistol P. Uh, size might be too much, bro, for that little guy. Big Magic. Moving on, Kyrie Irving or Jerry West? Bro, Jerry West is going to get destroyed. Kyrie Irving is, is what evolution looks like. Kyrie Irving. Chris Paul versus Steve Nash. I feel like Chris Paul has certain moves that just are so hard to stop. Yeah, and then his defense is better, and I think his mid-range game, his ability to get off a mid-range hit, that's going to be better. I'm taking Chris Paul. Gary Payton or Russell Westbrook? Dude, somebody's getting hurt. I think it's just whoever follows up first. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like, I don't know. I'm not familiar. Was Gary Payton good on offense? In a one-on-one -on -one setting, I think he'd struggle a lot. Like, I think Prime Russ is he just, just... He's just going to eat him alive. He's going to eat him alive. Russell Westbrook, easy. Steph Curry or Bob Cousy? Not just save the Steph Curry. Okay. Tony Parker versus the big O, Oscar Robertson. I think Oscar Robertson's a better overall player for a team, mm -hmm. but in a one-on-one, -on -one, I think Tony Parker's the one who's going to get the buckets. Tony Parker? Yeah, I'm going Tony. We'll take Tony. Isaiah Thomas or Jason Kidd? Like, Isaiah Thomas's handle, just he's better at finishing. His mid-range game is better. Like, he is going to get to more buckets. Jason Kidd, though, prime Jason Kidd was a dog. Like, physically, defensively, Isaiah Thomas is not short in any of those things. No, I feel like even more tenacious. I'm cool with Isaiah Thomas because I just don't even think Jason be able to score enough to keep up with him for sure cool isaiah yeah. thomas dame or john stockton bro do not disrespect i'm dame. not gonna disrespect this is pretty easy john stockman all time in assists all time in steals insane team player dame versus john stockton is just like dame versus a ymca player bro Damn. It's, it's over bro it's over <laughs> this one is over it, it's dame second round magic johnson versus kyrie irving i have my answer now listen in a team setting the obvious answer is magic but in a 1v1 where you have to get buckets and you have to get stops i don't see a world where magic johnson is stopping kyrie irving. kyrie's a hard puzzle to solve and i don't think magic has what it takes to solve that puzzle in a 1v1 we are taking kyrie irving chris paul versus russell westbrook chris paul is great defensively you're not stopping downhill Russ you can only be so smart on defense yeah and there's so many stories about like people who talk about who's the hardest point guard to guard so many people said Russell Westbrook like in a 1v1 setting he is terrifying when he comes down at you I don't think Chris Paul is gonna bother him enough I'm gonna go Russell Westbrook I like Russell Westbrook in this matchup Russell too. to the semifinals next mm. round Steph Curry versus Tony Parker I just want to say Tony Parker arguably the most underrated point guard in his generation can you name anybody who was just not talked about as much but who showed up in the playoffs as much as he did these things are great across a team game deep in the playoffs but just from a sheer talent this is steph curry the talent is too overwhelming in this way in this too matchup. overwhelming damian lillard or isaiah thomas to me i think isaiah cannot guard damian i think Dame might struggle to guard isaiah as well i think just the ability to shoot threes i don't think isaiah can stop that so in a 1v1 situation one game you would take damian lillard's scoring ability over isaiah thomas's overall readiness and well-rounded game yeah 100 and maybe i'm biased yeah okay cool next round kyrie irving versus russell westbrook both get worn out but kyrie does not fold kyrie's game still translated if he's worn out if russ gets worn out mm. and can't get to the rim as often or can't get there with as much momentum like he just like cannot finish with as much strength because he's losing it as he goes you know right. yeah i think kyrie wins the war of attrition so i'm going with kyrie i'm taking kyrie irving. steph curry versus damian lillard between the two of them who's gonna force the other one to miss just that extra one or two shots and missing those extra one or two shots is pretty huge in a 1v1 right? game because you're right they're both gonna make shots they're both gonna be kind of unguardable but who's the first to miss one or two i think it's gonna be dame who's better at getting to the line I don't know about getting to the line, but I think getting to the rim, Steph Curry. It's going to be super close or it's going to be a blow up. So we're going to take Steph. Yeah. Steph advances to the final. Kyrie Irving versus Steph Curry. Holy shit, bro. I mean, yo, one thing I want to say. Yeah. Kyrie is much, much, much better at defense than people think. Like mm. Steph is a machine. He'll run laps around you, and on defense, he will physically put it on the line. And he knows team defense, but I don't know if he's able to think it the way Kyrie's able to think it. I don't know if he's able to anticipate it the way that Kyrie's able to anticipate it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a world where Steph can actually defend a guy like Kyrie. You're right. I think objectively, we take Kyrie for granted. Say what you will about the controversies. Mm -hmm. To take any of that and to say it's a reflection of his game or anything what he's able to do with the ball, to underrate this guy is to just be a complete idiot. He is a basketball artist a master a van gogh of basketball and he is kyrie irving is the all-time 1v1 champion among point guards 